Welcome to my channel. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please do so before you leave. It's right in the bottom bar on one of these sides. Today's video is going to be three prom hairstyles that I kind of came up with and this is obviously one of them that I'm wearing right now. I know prom is coming and I'm completely booked for prom. I have so many hair and makeup appointments to do. Figured I would do this anyway because I feel like there's so many people that don't have time to go get their hair done or they don't have the money to do so. So I figured I would kind of come up with three different looks that are pretty easy and simple to do on your own. All you really need is a curling iron, bobby pins, um, hair ties, a teasing comb and a brush to brush your hair out. I do have hair extensions in so if you have long hair then that's perfect but you can always use hair extensions to kind of fake that out. So if you guys want to see the three looks that I came up with for prom then let's just jump right in. So now for this look what I'm going to do is put my hair part a little bit farther over than I normally would bar over like that and I'm going to leave a section of my bangs out. I'm just going to clip this kind of the opposite direction out of my face right now so that this is just out of the way. It will come together. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this section right here and I'm going to part it into three sections like this. Now we are going to go underneath and we are just going to create a braid, but we are taking the hair underneath instead of on top. That way this is going to make the braid stand out more. So you are just creating a big fluffy braid. We are just putting the hair underneath and I stopped gathering hair. The only part that I was incorporating in the braid was just on the top. So we are just going to braid this all the way down. So now I'm just going to secure this just at the bottom just to keep it together. And here's where I'm just going to really pull at the braid and make this a lot bigger. You're just going to pull at the sides like this. So as you can see, I'm just pulling out the side sections and that is what's making this braid nice and fat. See how you're getting like a more fluffy, bigger braid? So this is just personal preference, however big you want your braid, that's how much you are going to pull at it. So now I'm just going to let that hang there while we curl our hair. Now I can unclip this. Now to start off the um, curls, what I'm going to do is take this whole section right here. Actually I'm going to split it into two and I'm going to curl this away from my face. I take the curling iron and just wrap this around. So the curl should look something like this. Now I'm just going to curl the rest of my hair. So I'm just going to take pretty decent sections. I don't want the curls to be like too small. So um, I am going to take pretty good sections, probably about inch sections. So I'm going to finish curling my hair and I'll be right back. So the next step that we are going to do is we're just going to tease. So I'm going to take some hair, so I'm going to pick up 
each section and I'm just going to tease the root very gently. This is actually a um, teasing comb that I am using and I'm just going to go in and tease some sections so that it's not so flat and I'm just going to kind of flip the braid over and tease right in here. Also this helps the um, braid kind of stay down and flat and it has something to kind of like connect to if that makes sense. I'm gonna gently comb over that. Same on this side just so that it's even. So I'm just taking the section, taking my brush and just kind of back combing. Use a rat tail comb, whatever works for you. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the braid and I'm just gonna kind of mess with it, fix any pieces, pull out any pieces again pulling at it and for now I'm just gonna tuck this behind my ear because it's driving me insane and then this is where you're gonna try to figure out where you want the braid what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lay it about right there and then we can mess with it after I'm gonna take the bobby pin open it up and then I'm gonna connect the bobby pin at the end of the braid and just push it in so now you can kind of adjust play around, figure out what you want. So now what I'm gonna do is just tease a little bit right in here just to combine the kind of like bangs with the rest of the hair. So it should look something like this when you are done and I just think having braids and curls is just so pretty. Like you cannot go wrong with that, especially for prom and when you're wearing dresses, it's just so like elegant looking and this was so so easy all it is is just a regular quick french braid but you're braiding underneath just towards the top and just to keep it connected and then you just finish it off with a normal three strand braid just going underneath and then you just pin it off literally it's so simple and as long as you just have a curling iron and a few bobby pins then this look can be completed very easily So this hairstyle is going to be for my girls that want to wear their hair like off to the side, kind of up and kind of like messy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this section of my hair and I'm just going to twist it to the other side, if that makes sense. Then I'm going to leave this hair out like I always do. So now this is just going to be hard to explain. So I'm just twisting it like this. And then I'm just going to take the hair and kind of loop it around, kind of grab it in like a messy bun. And then I'm going to take my clear hair tie and I just wrapped it around. And then I'm just going to like take out sections that I don't like. And then this is where you kind of just adjust it to how you like it. So I'm just going to take bobby pins and kind of just bobby pin random sections to make it lay the way that I want it to. And then you can kind of pull, kind of pull at it and adjust it the way that you like. And it is super simple. Like I said, all I'm doing is just kind of pulling different sections and then bobby pinning it. Very simple. This um, hairstyle you obviously want to curl your hair beforehand because it makes it really easy to kind of just, you know, get it locked in place. And now I'm just kind of combing over the section, just kind of making sure that everything's nice and smooth. And I did just go back in and kind of twist this and then pinned it. But you guys can leave like little hairs hanging out or whatever you guys like. And it's just so simple, but it's really pretty. And it just kind of looks effortless and just messy. And I don't know, I just think it's so easy. So the hair tie that I used were these, the um, medium hold ponytailers. So they just look like this. And they just are really easy to apply in your hair without being like too tight sometimes with an elastic band if you 
do this, it will be too tight on the hair and it doesn't like form well. This just works really well because of like all the little divots in it and it just sits really nicely in the hair. So this is pretty much it. The last thing that you can do to this style is add some type of like really pretty hairpin or whatever. Like you can apply a pin that has, you know, some gems on it and you can apply it just like right here. Or another thing you could do is say you're wearing like a white dress or a pink dress, you can get like a pink or white flower and just apply it kind of like right in this section so that it looks really, really pretty. Let's move on to look number three. For this next hairstyle, I'm going to start off by leaving the bangs out again. If you guys don't want to do that, then you don't have to, but I just like the way it looks. So I'm just going to take almost like a half up, half down kind of section. So just this like mid top section, if that makes sense. And what we're going to do is just do a normal kind of braid going in the back. So I'm going to turn around and try to show you guys. All right, so we have our hair here and what we're going to do is take it into three sections and I'm just going to do a normal braid with that. So now once you have it like that, you're just going to take a bobby pin and just kind of keep this section so that it stays together like that. Now if you guys want, obviously you can leave it like this um, and just have your hair kind of half up half down with like a little bit of something so it's not plain and you could use just like a clear hair tie or whatever you guys want. Um, but I'm going to kind of switch it up just a little bit. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to section this bottom half into three sections. So we got this section, we have this section, and we have this section. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start braiding just normal braid again. Don't worry about the bobby pin that was there. And we're just going to go down the hair. So now comes to the point where I can't really reach anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to face the front of me and just bring this in front so I can see. It should look something like this when you bring it back. Now you are going to just continue the braid going down. Now I'm just going to use a little elastic. The only one I have is white. I definitely try to get one that is like clear so that you guys can't really see it. Now is when you're just going to kind of mess with it. So what I'm going to do is just bring it back in, in back of me like this. And I'm going to just tug at these sections and just make them really kind of like messy and loose. So it should look something along this line. It's just like a normal braid, but it kind of just gives it a little bit something different because you sectioned it off halfway. It kind of gives it a different look. Now you could obviously wear this in back of you like that and just have it, you know, normal braid or you could wear it in front of you. And obviously you can pull out like sections and make it your own. And then I can go in and kind of just curl these sections and it's pretty much that simple. So if you just like braids and you want it to just be out of your face and still look pretty, I think this is definitely a really pretty option. It's very simple and soft, yet still really, really pretty. So that was the last look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know if you guys try any of these styles out. I am so, so booked for prom. I'm so excited to do all different hairstyles, but I figured I'd do this video for the people that don't really want to pay to get their hair done or if you're in a rush or you can't make it to an appointment 
then I hope some of these hairstyles maybe help you guys out. Let me know if you guys want to see more and I would love to do more for you guys. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!